Okay guys, we're gonna try something here on the Honda Trail 125 that I've not tried before. Just for the heck of it. See what happens. It does have a centrifugal clutch. But it also actually has, they call it an automatic clutch, but it's actually a manual clutch. So to tell you the difference, this bike here, the 300L, has a manual clutch. In order to put in gear, you pull in the gear shift, you pull it into gear, you let on the clutch, it takes off. This bike is doing the same thing. It's just all in the shift lever. So basically, when I pull up on the shift lever, I'm pulling in the clutch just like that bike is. When I let down on the shift lever, it's letting out on the clutch and in gear and engaging and going. But you have a centrifugal clutch. That's why you can stop and just sit in one place while you're in gear that you can't do on that without pulling in the clutch. So basically, we'll start this thing up. So I pull this up into gear. As soon as I put the kickstand up, I pull this up into gear, I can rev the motor because I'm holding up on the gear shift, which is the same thing as his bike pulling in the clutch. Now, when I let down on this gear shift, it's going to take off. Okay, so can we roll start a CT125? We do have electric start and kick start, but can we roll start it because we have a centrifugal clutch? And I don't know the answer to the question, but we're going to find out right now. Get off, turn the key on. Now I'm going to pull up the gear. Put in gear because it stops. I can feel the gear. But I want to hold up on that gear shift. And then I'm going to let down on it. Just like letting out on my clutch on his 300L. Boom. You can roll start it. Super sweet. I was thinking you could. So just so everybody knows. Honda Trail 125. CT 125. You can roll start it. So you have electric start. Kick start. And you can roll start it. Thank you guys for watching with me adventures. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Catch you all on the next adventure. Try it on.